Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Hope you've enjoyed all the videos so far. Today we're going to be looking in zero and how to create a contractor and how to create a contractor's uh, sales invoice, obviously taking into account the CI deductions. So first of all, we've logged into the dashboard. We'll need to create the contractor himself. So if we go to contacts and customers, because this is a sales invoice you're doing, so this is deductions that you are suffering. If we go to add contact, type in a company name. So today we're going to use DEF construction. You'd obviously put all the information that you need um, with reference to first name, last name, um, email address so you can send the invoices out from zero itself. And as you can see, we're just putting the email address in. You can put the telephone numbers in. You can put as much information as you want. Uh, you can put the address in as well. A. Smith, 47 High Street, Barnet. Kingdom, same as postal address. Okay, this is where the, the part comes with reference to the CIS deductions. Now we can set the, the tax settings, so your VAT settings, to either inclusive or exclusive. So we're going to put it that it's exclusive, and the default sales account that we need to put is the CIS labour income. So this is what's going to determine through zero automatically once this is selected the. Um, deductions and it's automatically going to put them in so first we go save now that's the contractor s s created now what we need to do is create an invoice to show the CIS deductions so if we go to new under the contractor and select sales invoice it automatically puts the contractor in we obviously got today's date you can put the default due date in um, it will give the invoice number, standard branding. Now what you can do is you can put your standard description in, so five days of labour, quantity five, say on £200 a day. As you can see here, once we put the unit price in, it's already got the CI's labour income account already in there. It's already got the VAT tax rate in there as well. And as you can see on the right hand side, it's got the plus VAT rate. So if we just go down to the, the underneath, you can see that it says the subtotal is £1,000. The VAT element is £200, so it gives you a total of 1200 But you can see underneath that, it's automatically worked out the deduction you're going to suffer uh, with under the CI scheme, and it shows the amount that's due. So now what you can do is you can approve this invoice. That's now saved the invoice. You have the option to email it, print it, whatever you need to do, whatever your process is of getting that invoice to your contractor and then that is on the list of sales invoices which are going to be due um, to you. You can see here that we've got a 12 waiting for payment. If we click on this link you can see here it's the top one that's due and it shows the amount that's actually due. So it takes all that calculation away from you of working out how do I deal with um, separate sort of taxes with reference to the CIS scheme. Um, so that's a very, very simple way of creating a contractor and creating a CIS sales invoice so you can obviously then have your deductions automatically taken into account. So thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions about any features you want us to cover, then please leave a comment below. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further hints and tips videos from Less Tax to Pay. Bye for now.